Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and before I start on today's video, I wanted to bring up a new class that I just launched. In the world around us, there's a hunger for hope. There's a hunger for God that only He can answer. But there's also tangible, earthly hunger for the basics of life like food. I'm hoping that we as a Bible journaling community can join in an effort to address the food needs that we're facing with this new fundraiser class called Hunger for Hope. The class is comprised of all of my Advent series videos from the past several years. So the content is already public, except for this year's of course, which are already in the class and available. If you want to see them early, that's how but they will become public here on YouTube every Sunday of Advent, as always. But why pay for a class when the content is free? Well, because that's how I know to gather funds through my teaching site, not just during Advent, but all year long, to give to the hungry and serve them as Jesus called us to do. In the class, you'll have several videos on the four topics, hope, peace, joy, and love, with different verses for each, and every year, I'm going to add my Advent series to it on the first Sunday of Advent. So the class content will grow year after year, and you continue to have access to it. The themes, techniques, and ideas in the class can be adapted for seasons other than Advent. So I do hope the resources are going to be a blessing to you, even as we are a blessing to hungry families in our communities. The charities that we donate to will change throughout the coming years as needs change, and I'll be reporting donations and fundraising efforts in our Bible Journaling Made Simple Facebook group. Please see the links in the description for both the class and the Facebook group if you're interested in either one. The four Sundays of Advent, the four Sundays before Christmas, are each assigned a theme. And the first one is hope. And this is the page that will be created today for Psalm 62. Yes, my soul find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. And I'm going to be doing a tip in on Tomo River paper. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce Tomo, but you can see how thin it is. For the most part, you can see through it. But I thought I'd show you today another tool, if you're interested, is a light pad by Artgraph. I have this small one, and it makes tracing super, super easy. You could also do something very similar without spending any money by taping your paper to a window or a sliding glass door and do your tracing that way. But this is much easier in my studio to just have this one handy. And I'm going to, just with a pencil, trace the shapes onto my Tomo River paper. I'm using a mechanical pencil, which is kind of fancy. I'll link it in the description if you're interested, but you do have to have a special sharpener for it and everything. So unless you're prepared for that, it's not a pencil worth having for most people. I've had this one since college. So I have my art traced onto my piece of paper and there is a link down below this video if you would like to download it and create the same piece of art yourself. I'm going to be using my polychromos pencils actually for all the videos in this year's advent series i try to find some way to join them together either thematically or visually or something and they're all going to be different ways to handle text so if you have one big word then it's going to be four different ways that you can approach the coloring of that word in your bible and i'm going to do a rainbow and i was going to just show you the p so i could get through the whole rainbow but then I started moving on and doing the purple across because I got carried away and excited. And then I caught myself and said, no, just to proceed with the rainbow <laughs> and, and went back to the original plan for this coloring video because you don't need to see me color all those letters very slowly. I want you to get on to doing your own page if you'd like. But I started with a deep purple. I moved on to a reddish purple and then to a deeper red now to... A, a brighter, more intense red, more of a cherry tomato kind of red, then on to an orange and onto a golden yellow and then finally a yellow. That's the basic rainbow. And the rainbow for me is a symbol of hope. And that seemed to be quite appropriate for this. So doing a 
a lettering word in all these rainbow colors was especially beautiful. Now you could do this page in any medium you want and make your own rainbow or make it in any color you want. It doesn't matter to me. This is just what I chose to do. And I will be showing you how to do a dropped line shadow as well in just a few minutes. But the verse that I chose for this is not a Christmas verse, you may have noticed. And part of that is because in my Advent series every year, I do different verses. And I kind of picked all the obvious ones in previous years. And those pages are taken in my Bible. So I went a little further, which was really good. It gave me a chance to do a study on hope and look up all the verses in Scripture on hope and let the Lord speak to me on which one would be the one to choose for this particular one. And and the whole thought of being hungry for hope, that is what I, I want to be during this Advent season as I prepare my heart for the coming of Jesus. I want to be full of hope. I want to be reaching out for hope and striving for it and not giving in to despair. It's going to be a hard winter around the world with the, the virus pandemic raging and I don't want to despair about the news of that. I know what's coming. You know, we, we can see the numbers rising and I still want to reach out for hope. I still want to look to Jesus. He can stop this thing in an instant and I'm going to hunger for that. I'm going to keep pressing in for that. No matter what everything else says, I want that to happen. I'm going to be careful, of course, but I want to contend for the lives of people around me and people around the world. Well, this, what I'm doing here is the drop line shadow. And it's different than just a drop shadow, which I'll be addressing in one of the other videos. But if you, when you're doing your sketch of this, when you're tracing it, just move it over a little bit, you know, and, and you could retrace this outline. Just move it over to the left. And what I'm doing here, though, is leaving a white space in between the shadow and the text itself. So it's more of a drop line rather than a full drop shadow that's connected to the word. And that gives it a different look. It's a little lighter because it has, instead of a heavy shadow under it, it has a quote unquote white outline around it that you're leaving just by omitting it. And I have it kind of down to the bottom a little bit and then over to the left a little bit. You could do this in a different direction as well. And if you're tracing a piece of art like this, it's really easy to just move the piece of paper when you're doing the tracing to create that second outline. And one of the things you could do too, if you're not interested in doing this for hope or for any of the words in this series, you could use this same technique if you find someone who's done a really beautiful lettering of a word that you want in your Bible, then email the person and ask for permission to use it in your Bible journaling. Ask if you can print it out and then you can trace it just like this. I'm a terrible scripty letterer myself. That is not my gift. <laughs> so a lot of times it takes a lot of work for me to get to something like this. I sat and wrote the word hope and peace and joy and love over and over and over again with a pen. And I kept going and going for probably a week. I just kept writing the same words over and over, which is really a good meditation exercise, by the way. And I, I waited till I got just the right one. I scanned it in, I blew it up, and then I started cleaning up the outlines. That was a lot of work to do, but I wanted to do my own. And I recommend that you do the easier way. If you see someone on Instagram who does a beautiful word, just ask their permission to, to use theirs. And of course, if you are really good at lettering, then do it yourself because that is an amazing gift. <laughs> I, do, I do love beautiful lettering. It's just not a thing I do. So coloring the letters like this is more my style. So I'm coloring in my fork because it goes with the whole hunger theme. I put a little heart in the end of it and left a few highlights here and there on the fork itself so I have a little light shining on it and I'm adding just a little darker grays to add some shadows to it and make it a little bit stronger in color to finish this off and if you are doing this one and you don't want the fork leave the fork off yours if that doesn't make sense to you and if you want to put another image in there by all means please feel free to use the download that I've provided in any way that you find it necessary to do 
to communicate what you're trying to in your own Bible. I'm going to be using a corner rounder. and so This one's called a corner chomper. It's huge, but it has two different corners, a half inch and a quarter inch. The quarter inch fits the corners in my Bible because it's a little smaller, not as wide of an arc. And I'm just going to punch the two edges that are going to be on the outside where I'm sticking mine in. And someone else recommended trying this. So I'm going to be using liquid glue to try putting these in instead of my usual double stick tape. And I tried in each one a little different technique. This one I put the glue on the paper. I also tried another one where I stuck the glue down in the middle before I shoved the paper in. And it does seem to work. Just don't put a ton in there or you will have sploogies. And nobody wants sploogies. <laughs> so... That is my beautiful tip in for the first Sunday of Advent. And as you saw in the quote unquote ad at the beginning of this video, please do check the links in the description if you're interested in the class. I hope to see you there and let's fundraise and be the hands and feet of Jesus in serving the poor in our communities. God bless you. See you next week.